Welcome to our channel Dex Lab Analytics. In this particular session, I'll be talking about linear uh, regression. I will also be explaining assumptions and what is OLS in this regards. If you haven't watched my previous videos, please click on the I icon on the top right hand side corner of your screen. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe our channel and like and share if you like this video. Let's continue. Linear regression, also known as simple linear regression, is normally used in statistics for predictive modeling. It tries to model a relationship between two independent, also known as explanatory variable, and dependent, also known as explained variable, uh, variables such as x and y by fitting a linear equation that is simply written as predicted y equals to beta 0 plus beta 1 plus ui on an observed data where this particular value or variable y hat is your dependent variable and beta 0 is nothing but the intercept a, a point where a line which crosses the y axis and beta 1 is nothing but the slope of the value of the data plus ui which is a random term also known as error so a linear regression is basically um, a model which helps you predict y values be on the basis of your on the basis of your x data Suppose that you have a, histor a historical data. In our example, let's take income and consumption where consumption where consumption is your y value and income is your x variable. y is here an uh, uh, a dependent variable and x here is an independent variable now suppose that you have some data for consumption and some data for income these are all hypothetical data and so on and so forth now what you want to do is that suppose that you have a, a new income that is 27 now you want to predict what will be the value of consumption here okay this is called linear regression so you are predicting the value of consumption on the basis of your historical data with the help of these coefficients that is beta 1 and beta 0 and hence it is income is called or x data is called independent variable because this is helping us predict our y values whereas consumption is our dependent variable and if i talk if i say that in a layman uh, layman language um, you cannot predict consumption uh, you cannot predict income on the basis of consumption but you can definitely predict income uh, predict consumption on the basis of income so once you have a historical data you all you can do is you can just go ahead with a linear regression model and you can just predict your y values for your x values now when we talk about the error term that is here called ui or written as ui it can also be in some equations written as ei so you'll get a lot of formation of these kind of equations it is uh, in maths it is nothing but um, y equals to mx plus c whereas mx is nothing but your uh, mx is nothing but your slope the rate of change at which the uh, x is changing y or y is changing x plus your intercept 
that is a point where which crosses the uh, y axis and the difference between the observed value which is the original y value here observed value and the predicted value here is called error so originally we have this data we are going to build a model on this data entire historical data so that we can predict the uh, the consumption on the uh, uh, for 27 income okay now once we have that we'll get a new column that will be predicted by and the predicted by for 23 24 25 26 and 27 or you can remove this 27 in this case can be anything like that now all we need to do is see what is the difference between this y value and the predicted data so that we get the error term now there are a few assumptions we need to consider while uh, building our linear regression model that is that the ui is a random real variable the first is UI is a random va real variable. So when I say random real variable, I basically mean that uh, the difference between Y and the predicted Y is a real value, that is the error, which can be anything. Okay. The second is that the mean of UI in any particular period is zero. So the mean value of ui in any particular period is equals to zero this basically means that um, once you do that you get the error and you calculate the error um, you take the mean out of it so since the data is already being prepared in the for uh, in, in on the basis of mean values the ultimate result will be zero the third is that the variance of ui is constant in each period that means that if you're using the same data and you're calculating the error and you're using the same value of slope and intercept the variance will be constant okay these are the assumptions which which are made while building the linear regression model the fourth is so the variance is constant the fourth is so the variable u i as a no, u i has a normal distribution so when i say some normal distribution i basically mean this kind of a formation so in this case the it will form a bell shape curve a bell shape curve okay now the fifth assumption is the random term of different observations so these random terms of different observations are independent of the error so the error is calculated on the basis of y values and not on the basis of x values so the error is uh, the error is independent on the explanatory variable so it does not relate to the x values the income in our case the sixth is ui is independent of the explanatory variable okay xi are a set of fixed values so these are a set of fixed values in this case the xi's are a set of fixed values in a in the hypothesized process of repeated sampling so these values are fixed values in the repeated process of sampling okay the, uh, the eighth is in case there are more than one explanatory variables that means um, that means that suppose that we have more than one axis that is x1 x2 x3 in our case income saving investment and so on and so forth okay so in this case when we have more than one independent um, independent variables in that case 
the they are not perfectly linearly correlated so when i say linearly correlated i basically mean that one affects the other and the other affects the other so when we are predicting y values any changes in this can make changes in this saving column or in this investment column and that in turn will reflect uh, reflect and change the predicted values and so that the variance in our data or y predicted values will be very high when compared to different linear regression models keeping different kind of slopes or in uh, or coefficient values that is zero beta zero plus beta one so suppose that uh, the suppose that um, the historical data has a very fair data set in that sense that the values are not very high or low okay and suppose that that now when we get a data to predict our y values on which we have made our model the income or the saving or the investment is somewhat high or low in that case my accuracy of predicting y values will drop down from 99 percent per se which we were able to predict by our first model by our model to directly to 23 percent because of the changes made in uh, or the kind of variance each column had so these are few of the assumptions which are made while um, building our linear regression model now just let's talk about what is OLS so basically simple linear regression also follows a property of ordinarily least square to in to explain these properties let me just get back to them point by point so the first property of if you say something is following ordinarily least square so the combined formation formation of that will be the properties which it holds so the first property of ordinary least square that is OLS is that the estimator should be unbiased unbiased estimator which basically means that whatever the slope or whatever the coefficients are originally being used that is the intercept and the slope they should be equal to the the coefficients which we have derived so the original slope should be equal to the slope which we have derived okay the second is minimum variance so what does minimum variance mean suppose that we have a linear regression model um, say this one plus beta 1 x plus ui okay suppose that we have a linear regression model and it has some uh, slope values or intercept values as somewhat like this and we have another linear regression model let's keep this ui aside for a minute this is x and for this we have some values as 0 0.59 2.53 like that so now we have two linear regression model so what it should follow is that the predicted values should have minimum variance in the sense that whatever we are predicting from this particular linear regression model 
and whatever we are predicting from this linear regression model in comparison whatever the model or the intercept and the coefficients uh, coefficients we select it should have minimum deviations or variations in predictions okay now the next one is efficient estimator so when i say efficient estimator it basically means if the um, the model follows unbiased estimator and minimum variance uh, properties it is an efficient estimator fourth it should be a linear estimator that means whatever the value r per se we have something like this we have a function like this it should be a linear estimator in the sense that even if it is not linear because it has a power on x we can just convert it to log linear form the log beta 0 plus 2 beta 1 x so even if the even if the equation is not linear we have to make it linear so that it follows ols um, properties the next is it should follow blue b l u e blue which basically means best linear unbiased estimator so it summarizes all the above properties so you can call it blue as well if your linear model is following blue then that in that case it is following OLS properties the sixth is MSE which basically means minimum minimum squared errors minimum squared errors which basically means that y hat minus beta 0 sorry b square should be zero or at least minimum as small as possible so on base on the basis of your different model models and the coefficients which you have put in or used the the one which has the minimum variance that is the predicted value and the uh, observed value has the mi minimum error that model should be selected and used that's it for this video hope this video made sense and you got in depth a little bit knowledge about what linear regression is in our next video i'll be talking about uh, or i'll be explaining you how to solve a linear equation uh, or linear regression equation by hand um, so so do follow us click on the bell icon so that you are notified when i post my next video Hope that you like this uh, explanation of mine. Um, if you want to know more about DexLab Analytics, you can go on the website www.dexlabanalytics.com or you can reach out to us on the following numbers given on your screen or you can WhatsApp us or you can mail us at hello at the rate dexlabanalytics.com. We are currently placed in Gurgaon. Hope you have a nice day. Take care. Bye bye.